I have seen people studying for gate 12 hours, 14 hours. Even I see people who sleep only 2 to 4 hours they so that they can study additionally 2 hours a day. I was like, what? As an average student, I also wanted to learn how to do that. So I challenged myself to study a subject for 16 hours straight, but I have two conditions. One, the subject has to be difficult. Two, as I'm already a student at IIT Madras and I have no plans to give gate, I have to pick a subject that does not contribute to my studies at IIT Madras. So I tried with 5 popular neuroscience acts from popular neuroscience book and I applied it. It works. I studied for 16 hours. I scored 16 out of 18 for that particular subject in a combo test with an accuracy of 88%. So here is this video. This video is for you so that you can do it too. So the first problem that I just wanted to actually overcome is this much big book. <laughs> Two hours later. We procrastinate when we see a particular task that is so uncomfortable to do so that we will put off and we will do something that is actually easy for us. So the solution, create a to-do list. Before going to study, you just have a plan of what to do and just break the particular task into micro and nano tasks so that you will feel that it is very easy to achieve. Once you finish a particular task, you just strike it off. Man, I would say that you will feel really good because you are moving forward towards your goal. That will do it. And I just want to give a small app recommendation. If you are using Apple, you can use Apple notes for to-do list and if you're using android you can use google keep any cloud based storage app will absolutely work and if you don't want to use any app you can use notepad basically create a to-do list and strike it off that's it bang now i had a fear What if I get started and I decide to give up after just studying one or two hours? So I need to make sure two things to happen. One is the process should be so fun throughout the 16 hours. And the second thing is I just don't want to do any other things apart from actually studying. So how I did that? So first thing is I just made the process more fun. It's based on the principle from Atomic Habits. We tend to do something that is actually rewarding. So I just break the study sessions into 25 minutes and I will give five minutes break. In the five minutes break, I will listen to some favorite songs. I will talk to my friends then i will come back again i will study for again 25 minutes and i'll give a break for five minutes i will land or something do something like that and after every two hours i will take a 30 minutes break on that time i will sleep or i will watch my favorite youtubers video so that the throughout the 16 hours it's not the entire 16 hours i took breaks breaks breaks, breaks, breaks. i study i take a break i study a break so i keep doing this till the entire 16 hours so that i will frequently i will get reward to my brain so that it will be so fun for me and the second thing is i just eliminate all the distractions from myself all of them means all of them so i just turned my bed down throw on the notebooks of subjects at iit Madras, so that i should not realize that i have already so much to study at iit Madras. don't make this video something like that please guys i'm doing a lot of effort to subscribe to this channel and i would have put this phone away but for the reason i was documenting i was actually keeping it but i deleted the most addicting apps and i would give a small book recommendation also atomic habits you should definitely read it the about two methods it is not something that i was invented it is based on scientific neurological principles so you just give a read guys that will definitely a game changer for you during your preparation I was planned, I gave a reward, I eliminated all the distractions, but still I haven't started. Why? Because I know even if there is no distraction, I'm going to get distracted. How? Treat them as our brothers and sisters. Because distractions are of two types, internal distractions and external distractions. We take care of the external distractions. Now, who will take care of the internal distractions? Internal distractions are inevitable. You cannot avoid from it. See, you can sit in a table and you can study for five hours, six hours, and you can end up studying nothing. And you can end up studying nothing. So it's not always the time spent is equal to the high quality work. It was best described in deep work book that high quality work is equal to time spent at the intensity of focus. If the intensity of focus is less, you have to spend more and more to get things done. So now the question comes, Raghu, how can we eliminate the internal distraction and focus harder? 
And for aspirants who are in college and wants to give gate and are still unsure about using the right platform, I suggest you to go with Gatewala. See, look at the people in our community who are using it set up good. From Gatewala, you'll get the best route to crack gate, ESC, PSUs, BARC, ISRO, state exams and more. So tackle each and every subject with India's best faculty team, Team Drona. Batch details. Parakram batch for gate 2024 batch, which is a full one-year batch for third-year students at rupees 4999 instead of rupees 5999. And the second batch is Sreshta batch B for gate 2025 batch, which is a full two-year batch for second-year students at rupees 6999 instead of 799. This new discounted prices are valid only for the next seven days. And for students preparing for gate 2023, PWA has free crash course for 2023 gate for all the branches. It's available on Gatewala YouTube channel, Gatewala MEC and XE YouTube channel, and Gatewala EEC and CS YouTube channel. Since you guys are my friends, you can use my code RAGU500 and you can get instant 500 off. So why waiting for? Just click the link in the description and buy it. And this offer valid only for a limited time. So how can we actually increase the focus? First, set deadlines. For each mini task, set a mild stress deadline. Let's say you think you can finish the task in 45 minutes. Try giving it a timer of 40 minutes and try to finish it. And then give a reward to yourself. 10 to 15 minutes, listen to music or talk to your friends. And the second one is, have a worry list. Now this is a powerful concept from Productivity Project book. So the author, while writing that particular book, he was actually quitting a too high paying job and he, high paying job, and he wanted to get in the field of entrepreneurship. So he used to constantly having this worry while writing that book. So how he get rid of it so in the to-do list near to that he created a worry list and he just note down all the worry and by the end of the day before going to sleep he will look at the worry whether to worry that or most not. probably by the end of the time the worries that actually he was worrying is not at all something helpful so if you have any worry or if you feel like you can't able to focus because of some worry you just note it in the worry list and please make sure that check it by the end of your study session and one quick tool I just want to give you here like if you want to really focus for me one of the helpful thing is music you can just go to spotify and you can use any steady music personally for me what actually works is coffee shop music with rain but you should not go with cinema music because i don't want to fall asleep i don't want to pass away i fall asleep i don't want to pass away i've been thinking of our future because i'll never see those days I don't when we hear sad song we will become sad when we become energetic song we will become so energetic that is actually distracting away from what we actually are doing. That's a quick tip. How long would you estimate the typical college freshman can read material in their book or in their notes and effectively be learning what they're reading. Now achieving 16 hours study time is actually not our goal. The actual goal is to study that subject qualitatively and score well in exam. It was scientifically proven that your brain's performance will deteriorate when you study continuously for long hours. So now the right question you have to ask yourself is how can you actually get yourself to study effectively during that 16 hours? You might have seen previously before I have studies 25 minutes, 45 minutes. That's actually for a reason. Studying in chunks helps to recharge your brain so that you can study and perform well during the study session. So there is a concept called Pomodoro that you will set for 25 minutes timer and you will study so that you can focus without any distraction. Then give some five minutes break. Then your brain will get recharged. Then you have to study. So this is the basic concept of Pomodoro. But I would suggest there that go with 45 minutes. If you can able to study for 45 minutes continuously or some people used to be like one hour 30 minutes study and they will give some 30 minutes break. So break is important. How many hours you can focus, that is up to you. Decide. Here also one quick tool I just want to announce you. If you are someone who is like often get distracted by phone, I suggest don't set your timer in your phone. There is a device that is called kitchen timer. You can find in Amazon for some 200 or 300 rupees. It is quite really helpful. Even I have one. Here it is. So it's just 200 rupees or you can there is an app called uh, tomato timer I think. yeah it's tomato timer or total.com that is also something that i use when i use something in internet so that is the best timers that you can use so that you can study effectively So before getting into the final and the most important tip of all, I just want to give tips to the most frequently asked questions of gate aspirant. I'll just say the tips, you will understand the context why I'm saying. The first is don't ever compare yourself to anyone's performance. Compare your performance, your yesterday's performance. Give as many mock tests as possible. Just because the test series score is bad, that doesn't mean you haven't worked hard. In test series, sometimes the questioner will set questions in such a way that it will be difficult for students to attend so that the students will learn something new. Trust me, even toppers get 
get poor ranks in test series during their preparation. So don't get demotivated at any point. Just keep giving your best. When you feel stuck while solving a problem during your preparation, don't immediately check your notebook. Just try for three to five minutes. When you realize you can't able to solve, then check it. That three to five minutes actually increases your problem solving ability. In exam, time management is very important, but nothing is useful without accuracy. So accuracy should be always your number one priority. Recently, you might have had that IIT Karakpur uh, student case. It was all over the internet. Everyone, every news channel was talking about and it. Every year, thousands and thousands of students are committing suicide. And the main reason behind this is career related stress. See, you can study 12 hours, you can study 16 hours, and you can give a test, and you will get a very poor mark. Now, all the fears in the world will come. So, the next day, you will sacrifice more sleep. You spend less time with your friends so that you can study more. See, it is absolutely fine to work hard when you see a low score, but the stress goes beyond a particular level just step back spend time with your friends families and just live just have some free time then actually you will realize the problem is not bad as you think then come back again analyze your weak areas analyze why are you not able to get good more then work on it relentlessly